LimeWire. Isn't it wild that LimeWire back blows my mind? So they used to, they're obviously a, a very well-known company or software, I guess, from uh, back in the day. Um, it's been bought out and it's now turning into, well, has become a crypto project. I actually think this can do pretty well just from name alone. I think there's going to be a lot of people in the crypto market that are around my age that have, have used LimeWire or that have heard of LimeWire. And I think, yeah, I think name alone could carry this quite forward really well. I'll talk about what I think this can hit in this bull cycle. Before I get into it though, guys, if you're new here, you don't know what the spreadsheet is. These are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. When I did the videos, I showed myself buying up all of these coins. If you'd have done the same, if you'd have popped $100 into each of these when I released the videos about them, sat on them for a year and a half and then sold them, your total profit in that time would have been over 123 grand. In under a year and a half, that's spectacular. That's nearly a house. You're not going to get that in any other market other than crypto. Now, we're in a bull cycle, so you don't have... 18 months to build your portfolio. You don't even have three months to build your portfolio. And if you have no cryptos in it, or your cryptos that you own are trash, you need to do something about it. If you go to copymycrypto.com, that's the site I run where I share my entire portfolio with my members. If you go onto the site, you will see what the, my members have earned. You'll see the successes we've had. This is all public record, so you can verify it. And if you're in a situation where you're not happy or confident or just uncertain about your portfolio, have a look at the site, read through it all, and maybe try it out because I have no doubt it'll be able to help you out, guys. And you want to get that sorted before this cycle rips to the upside. So LimeWire. All right, LimeWire is back. So LimeWire was a file sharing brand from the early 2000s, um, well known for misnaming a lot of the... A lot, a lot of the files that they used to have on there. It was, it was, it was file sharing between peers. Um, there was a lot of, of, uh, of viruses that LimeWire spread <laughs> over the time, but it was really well known and it was heavily used. Um, home to the second largest Discord community globally with over 2 million members who have already created more than 500 million AI generated content pieces. The new LimeWire is a leading AI studio for image, music and video content. Um, and a social platform for content creators, artists, and musicians. Uh, it's an ERC-20 utility token uh, embedded into the LimeWire platform, used by millions of its user, users, raised over 17.5 million uh, in strategic and public sales from the, their token, with backer, backers like Kraken Ventures, Crypto.com Capital, GSR, and Arrington. Uh, the company has also closed strategic partnerships with the Universal Music Group, Algorand, Polygon, and Google Cloud. So they've really ended Dead Mouse as one of the investors as well. They've actually done really well in terms of getting a user base. Uh, now, circulating supply-wise, but you know, less than half of the supply is out. It's a kind of an interesting one. It's not exactly uh, setting the world alight. It did do pretty well, running up to about dollar fifty not that long ago. Um, and it's doing about four million a day in terms of volume a day. Uh, we'll take a look at tokenomics and everything else in a second. So uh, you can stake the Lime Wire token uh, via the pools. Uh, you can also farm it, or you well you can do farming. Um, if we take a look at tokenomics, maybe line actually time frame timeline will probably be better in it. So. Uh, so this year, uh, LimeWire uh, Music AI Studio v version 2 should be launched. Beta launch of Video AI Studio. Uh, they've already been listed on Bing X. The token is now available uh, on Base, Coinbase's Layer 2 network. They've actually done pretty good things. And plan for 2025 is the decentralized creator economy. So this is the implementation of uh, decentralized GPU infrastructure and the creation of a pool of distributed GPUs for the a LimeWire's AI studio. And it's obviously incentivized by the token itself. Again, quite a good concept. 
Staking rewards are pretty damn good, 35%. Total value locked at the moment is 1.3 million, so not tons by any stretch of the imagination. Um, quite small, if anything. Uh, and you can earn LimeWire by posting about LimeWire on, on X and Twitter, which is an interesting idea. So that's a way to like build your holdings by just tweeting a lot. Um, some people do do that naturally anyway, so... So a easy way to double down and earn. Um, as you can see, this is the, you can start a new chat here. Uh, these are your create images, edit images, remove backgrounds, out paint image, although remove backgrounds coming soon, but I don't know why you would need to do that too much. Um, there's so many pieces of software for removing background, it's ridiculous. Uh, in paint image is interesting, that's coming soon. Uh, so they've got some like interesting features here. Uh, that they're already pushing forward. So, yeah, it's it's an intriguing place right now. The question is obviously the tokenomics. So we'll take a look at the release schedule. You know what, guys? There are a lot of uh, places that show you token release. I actually think Crypto Rank generally is the best from what I've seen. Uh, they always have the, like the dates as well, or pretty much always. I can't say always because I've found a couple of coins that I haven't in the past. But here's the unlock event. So July 16th, 39 million of these tokens will be unlocked. Uh, of that, um, private round investors, so 9 million tokens are being released. So they could be sold easy. Strategic round investors, 6 million could be sold easy. And advisors could easily sell. So you're looking at potentially 18 million just there that could be dumped onto the market because they're just... Uh, they're early investors, effectively. So, you, and then you've got another 18 million that could be dumped, and another 18 million. So, across the next one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, six months, you've got 18 million a month that could be dumped onto the market. So, you're looking at over 100 million tokens from early investors that are going to be released that could just dump on your face. So, that is worth noting because that could be really crap for price action. Um, so I'd be paying attention to what happens on the days of the releases. So I pay attention to the 16th of July, see what the hell happens. Does it just take a tanking? Um, if we have a look at yesterday, uh, yesterday its price was pretty high and then it dumped. Now I'm presuming there was a token release yesterday based on the, the fact that it was the 16th of, uh, July, right? So 16th of June. So yeah, so there was probably a token release which caught, so the pump happened and then the dump happened. So maybe, maybe it was that. Um, but yeah, just something to pay attention to. I'm I'm interested by this. I, I think this is a very, very high risk crypto. Um, but it's already on Kraken and Crypto.com, obviously. Uh, it's also on BitGet and KuCoin and MEXC. The volume's not great. So I think a marketing campaign is going to have to be done. Uh, tokenomics a little, from my perspective, a little concerning. Just you're talking about 40 million being released basically every month. So even over the next, you know, so July, August, September, October, November, December, you're looking at six months. By the end of the year, another 240 odd million tokens are on top of that supply. That's a lot of tokens to be coming out. It's nearly doubling the circulating supply. So... The question on that is going to be how much gets dumped into the market. Realistically, you talk, again, you're talking about 100 million of the 240 that could easily dump because it's early investors and advisors. So be hesitant on doing any sort of heavy investment into LimeWire. But I do think there's got potential here. The name is like everyone knows the name of LimeWire. And if they can do a really successful marketing campaign and if they're uh, the creation of their tools, their, their AI tools are really, really used by content creators and they're working in tandem with content creators promoting LimeWire. This could pick up some decent momentum. It wouldn't shock me to see something like LimeWire end up on a Binance. But again, it's got to really get that volume up. So strategic marketing with content creators is probably going to be vital here. If they do that, and it does... Uh, like if they do that without a Binance listing, I think this could in theory run up to a couple of dollars, maybe $2.50, uh, which put it about half a mil market cap, a little higher than that right now. Half a bill, sorry. 
Um, however, the tokenomics don't look great. Tokenomics would be a cause for concern from my perspective. So I would be very cautious about any sort of heavy duty investment because, like I said, you've got 100 million tokens over the next six months that just coming into the market from early investors. So there'd be a real risk of them selling and causing price action to drop. Um, but overall, interesting. Interesting. Um, marketing for them is going to be key. How do they advertise? If they advertise well with the name and reputation of LimeWire, um, this could this could ga get, gather some decent momentum. Wouldn't shock me to see it at $2.50. If it gets a Binance listing, it wouldn't shock me to see this go much, much higher. So something to pay attention to. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. The tokenomics to me look really concerning. Let me know what you think about the tokenomics in the... Uh, description uh, in the in the comment section as well and guys if you want to make the same profits as me in this bull cycle you can do all you have to do is jump onto copymycrypto.com and join up it's the site i run where i share my entire portfolio with my members on the site you'll see what my members have earned you'll see the successes we've had and it's all public record so you can verify it we're in a bull cycle and if your portfolio is lacking, if you're not confident, if you're genuinely just like, I think they're all right, but I'm not sure, have a read through the successes of Copy My Crypto. Have a look at what the members have earned. Maybe try out the site because it will be able to help you out. It's where the members don't have to do any work at all. They dive, I dive into the markets. Whenever I add to my portfolio, I tell them. Whenever I sell, I tell them. So there is no work and they make the exact profits that I do. So check out the site. Have a look because no doubt it will be able to help you out, guys. And that's it from me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.